Hello everyone. Uh, so far we have learned uh, about 34 methods of the string and for that if you want to use those methods in your application you do not need to import anything because uh, uh, if you want to use you just need to create uh, an object of the string type. One more thing is available in Python that is called the string module. Okay, so uh, a string module provide uh, some extra facilities that you can use in your Python code. So let's see that uh, what are the things that is available in the string and uh, how to use the string module in our application. I have already explained in the math module if you want to use any external module in your uh, in your uh, Python script, then you need to first of all import. Okay, so first we'll import the string module in our application by writing import and that module name. And after that, uh, if you want to get any uh, uh, any variable and the methods which are defined inside this module, then you need to use by this module name. So here I will write a string just to get here. A string dot and here ASCII letters. First, I'll use ASCII letters. So uh, here you can find that all the, uh, the letters which are available uh, in the English alphabet, you can find that it is already available as a, a string in your uh, in your string uh, module. So uh, suppose if you are writing some code in which you want to check whether the particular character is available in that string or not, then you can use this uh, uh, string module. So this is very useful uh, in terms of the coding. Uh, here I can also get a string dot only ASCII uppercase. So it will show you that uh, which uh, uppercase are available that you can see all the uppercase letters are available. Similarly, you can get only the letter uh, which are in lowercase by using the lowercase variable okay so look at here uh, so uh, as you can see that uh, all the letters all the uppercase letters all the lowercase letters are available so um, if we writing some code then uh, for the comparison then we can use direct this in our application some more things are available in python uh, string module let's see one by one a string dot uh, basically, it's a collection of variables which have uh, uh, values. So uh, let's see uh, the octal digits. So, so we need that, uh, we know that the octal digits start from zero to seven. So okay, so you can find that all the octal digits are listed here. Uh, print a string dot sky hexadecimal. Okay, and then you can find that it will show you that hexa digits. Hexa digits contains a zero to nine and a small a b c d e f or a capital a b c d e f. Okay, so uh, hexa digits is also listed in the string module. Print a string dot digits. So it will show you only digits which are available that you can use in your application. And that is zero to nine. So uh, uh, when uh, I'll discuss some coding and stuff, then I'll use these things. So remember these uh, uh, variables which are by default available. You do not need to make uh, your own list because all are available in uh, a string module. So one more thing I want to show that is a string dot um, this one that is called punctuations. So which punctuations are available that you can see here, that is all uh, you can see that the spatial characters uh, are like your punctuations. So uh, this is also useful when you will learn uh, one module that is called uh, regex, means uh, regular expression. So it will also help you out, okay? So this is the way. Uh, one function is available, which is very important in a string. So I'll I want to discuss that also. Uh, S is equal if I write uh, something Daniel Lari, and I want to uh, capitalize. Okay, I want to capitalize uh, all the uh, letters, all the words first letter. Then I can use a method that is called title. I have already discussed. Okay. So s dot if I use the title and if I print s1, then you can see here that uh, every uh, word's first letter is getting 
capitalize okay but there is no way that uh, if i want that uh, uh, um, every letter which is uh, before a should be capital okay so uh, the default nature of the title is it converts all the words first letter as capital but in a string module there is a method that is called let me show you uh, a string dot uh, cap words okay so uh, here if i pass s so you can see that uh, it will show you the same result there is no difference fine uh, as we are getting uh, we were getting the values by using um, uh, the title method then uh, we are getting the same as we are getting the same as using the cap words okay so what is the difference between the title and cap words just look at here it accept another uh, argument um, by which you can specify the separator means uh, for example if i write a then you can understand that what is the difference so as you can see that uh, whenever a occurs so after that every uh, after um, that uh, it find any letter that will become the capital just look at here okay so a then n is capital okay and here you can see that is uh, any a or uh, yes here is a then you can see that l is also capital then here you can see that a is here then r is capital and first letter is capital so this is uh, this is uh, the use of cap words if you want that uh, i want to cap it uh, make a capital a letter uh, in my string after a um, certain uh, character or a string then you can use in your application so this is the use of cap words so i hope uh, this method is also clear and a string is also clear so just remember that uh, what are the values are available in a string module so thank you for watching this video please like comment and uh, share the videos if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel thank you bye bye